guys. It's just that we're adding in new accounts that relates to this type of um, operation activities. So this is a general operating cycle. We know what an accounting cycle is, but in terms of how the products flows into the business, how the products flows out to customer, this is the general operating cycle. Okay, in a simple form, we start from the first side of the entries, purchase inventory. Okay, so today you'll be introduced to you'll be introduced different cases under purchasing inventory. As I mentioned earlier, some of the freight charges, discounts, and returns. How do we take care of those in the first side of the end, the cycle? So after we get inventory, then following up, of course, we want to sell it to a company who wants to sell the inventory to customer to generate the profit in between. So in the beginning, when you purchase something, you have the cost that you spend, the money that you spend, uh, that you pay to the wholesaler, pay to supplier for the goods. Then you immediately resell it to customer and generate the difference amount, the profit in between. Okay, so the inventory we're referring to in this chapter, we're referring to fully produced goods. Okay, we're not talking about manufacturing the goods here, not talking about the bits and pieces, how to actually produce to a final product. The inventory we're dealing with in this course throughout the entire semester, we're dealing with ready produced products, readily finished and is ready for customer to purchase. Okay, and managerial accounting in another course, you'll be dealing with how to take care of the materials, how to take care of the labor costs. Those relates to the business that you actually produce and manufacture the goods. But this chapter, throughout this course, we'll be focusing on um, retail businesses, basically like, for example, Walmart, ShopRite, Target. So all the grocery stores, the stores that you visit, for the most part, they purchase finished goods from different companies, and then they mark up a price, resell it to customer. For the most part, they don't produce or manufacture those products. Okay, they're there to purchase finished goods and resell it to customers at a specific local area. Okay, so after selling the inventory, then of course, it's either company either collects cash or accounts receivable. If it's accounts receivable, then later on, within a month or so, um, company will be collecting cash based on those. Okay, so then again, you have the cash. Company will co purchase more inventory, market the price, sell it to customer, then get cash again. So this is the general operating cycle. Now, if we move on.